Hi everyone, Alex with you. In this video I will show you how to cut one object from another using a boolean operation. To begin with, objects must be modeled and exposed. That is, they are allocated there the elements must cut our part of the object. For example, here I create a box and next to it there are two more boxes that will be cut out from this large box. Ok, first we select the object from which we will cut something. That is, I take this big box. Further, in the command panel we need to change the standard primitives rollout to compound objects. There are additional properties that can enable interaction between objects. And I am interested in the property of the logical operation boolean. I click on it. This operation has already been applied to the large box and it is already attached to this box. In addition to the fact that at the bottom I saw additional parameters. Even if I have this box selected and I go to the modify tab, I will see that Z I already have a box and there is a boolean above it. That is, boolean is fully applied to the properties of this object. What we see here at the parameters? There are operands here. The operand is the object that will participate in the interaction. That is, in cutting or, for example, adding one to one. Now there is only box 0, 01 and we naturally need to add additional operands here. By clicking the Add Operand button, I will click on the object that I want to add to this list. For example, this box. Box added. Here it is on the list. Well, for example, I want to add a second box by clicking on it as well. Now there are three objects, but they were not cut out one from the other, but added. How do I know about this? Below there are three main parameters for the interaction of these operands. Union allows you to make one wall out of these objects. That is, combining objects with each other is exactly what we see now. Intersect to leave the area of intersection, that is I clicked intersect and everything that intersected remained. Here is only part of the box, everything outside the intersection area is missing. And subtract, that is the box was cut out of the box. But why, for example, wasn't the second one cut out? Why was the third cut out? I will return it to Union. You definitely need to look at which box you are using this property. I will have now applied it to box 02. That is, this is this small box. So this interaction occurs that only this one box is cut out. But we need to cut out from a large box. So I will choose box 01. I click subtract. I choose the next box, subtract. And I choose the third one, subtract. It was theoretically possible to immediately select a subtract and simply then add these operands to subtract them from this object. But again, globally you can combine these properties. Leaving intersect between them is illogical here, but union and subtraction can be combined. And add some elements, subtract some elements and get quite interesting combination. Complicate objects without any complex processes. We can also move these objects. If you are not satisfied with how you place these elements, you can open boolean in the stack window, in the command panel, select the operands and take the move tool. And now when I move the selecting one of the objects, it will move individually. That is, I can get some more necessary result. Place farther, closer. To get out of here, we return to boolean in the stack window and now this is one full-fledged object. No matter what object you select in the operands, it becomes one wall. That's probably all. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, because it will only get more interesting. 